Hey, 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 happy day 370 of doing one thing every day that makes us happy or me happy from the little journal book, do one thing every day that makes you happy. Today is actually not a day in the book. We finished the book yesterday with our little thermometer or our little scale of measuring how happy we are now at the end of the year versus at the very beginning of the year. And I actually like that in the book to kind of take stock of where am I right now and then do something and then check in again and say, where am I now? Is there a change? Now, there might be a positive change or a negative change. I might have found that at the end of this year long exercise, I was less happy than I was at the beginning of the year. Now, it's very unlikely and I wasn't. I actually think I'm at least 30% happier than I was at the beginning of 2018 versus, or no, 2019 versus the beginning of 2020. So, what did I learn? I wanted to share today as the final day, and I just brainstormed a couple of things, so I'll read through them. What did I learn as part of this exercise, as part of this project? Anything that you invest, you know, 365 or more days into doing something every single day, at least a little thing every day, ought to make an impact on your life, ought to make a difference, and you ought to learn something from it. So it makes sense to take stock in, take a couple of minutes and review, well, what did I learn from doing this exercise? So here are some of the things that I brainstormed that I learned from doing one thing every day that makes me happy. I put external stimulus can happen, but happiness comes from within me. All kinds of things will happen around us all the time, but I'm the one that gets to decide how it's gonna impact me. Happiness, like all other feelings, flows. I am only ever as happy as I choose to be or feel. Circumstances, challenges don't make me happy, I do. I can always reach for a happier feeling thought. It is possible to feel happy every single day, at least sometime during that day. Even on my worst days, even when I had the flu, there were still moments that I felt happy during those days. Uh, happiness is all around me. There's always something to be happy, grateful, thankful about. Um, I decide my happiness set point. I decide about how happy I'm going to be, and then I maintain that throughout my existence and life. We do that with everything. We have a set point for absolutely everything in our lives. And that includes most feelings. Um, look for and pick things that make you feel lighter and happy. Um, minding my own business lets me feel happier. Other people's drama is heavy. <laughs> That's a big one. I can't make anyone else happy or feel anything else for that matter. There's nothing I can do to make someone else choose to feel happy. Each of us as human beings need to individually choose how we're going to feel at any given moment. Uh, different times impact how I feel. A saying one day might be positive or positively impact me and that same saying another day might impact me negatively. It depends on what else I'm thinking about, what else is going on in my life. Um, I love the top five and the lists. Um, those were easy for me to do, those exercises, even more than the sayings. The sayings days, I have to think about, okay, well, what does that mean to me or how could I apply that to my life? But the top five is just bang, knock out the top five things. Um, I took action every single day. I wrote in my book or and I did a video every day. So taking action increases the results that you're going to get from any anything that you want and move you toward what you want. Do one small thing every day to move toward what you want. Um, page 87, the process map, or P87, the process map was my favorite page. I did not write on it. I did it on a post-it note that day because I wanted to save that because I love process maps and I wanted to save it for future activity. Um, we get what we expect and we see what we look for, i.e. what we want to see. I'm sure there's more, I'm sure there's more lessons learned and were I to spend a bunch of time on this, I could come up with more. But for right now, that's a pretty good list. That's a pretty good um, number of lessons learned from doing one tiny thing every single day to make me feel happier. Now, am I gonna stop doing something every day or looking for something every day to feel happy just because I'm done with the book? No, after 360, 370 days, it's become inherent in my nature to look for things that make me smile, that make me happy, that make me feel good. I challenge you to do the same thing. Pick a feeling that you want to feel this year. Pick a word that you want to emphasize this year 
and do one little thing every day to move you toward that. Say you want to feel more love. Say you want to feel more connected. Say you want to feel more influential or more impactful. Do one thing every day to move you toward that feeling. Actually, do one thing every day to experience that feeling, even in a small way, and watch how that changes you and your life going forward. That's it. That's all I've got today. Have an absolutely amazing, happy day, and awesome life. I will be starting tomorrow doing one thing every day, doing one fun thing every day. Um, or I might, now that I've thought about it and I just said it, I might do the same thing I just recommended that you do. Instead of doing one fun thing a day, which I still will probably already do that because I decided ahead of time I would, but I might pick one feeling that I want and one thing I want to achieve more this year and I might do something toward that every day. Maybe it will be more impact, more influence. Maybe it will be more love. That, that's always a good one. We can all always use more love. Whatever you do, move forward knowing that you are in charge of your life and you decide what everything needs. Take care. Bye.